Fair warning, this video is going to get weird. Like, really fucking weird. But hey, you will learn very important things about the following animals. You're a banana slug. Life should be simple. You crawl on your slimy body, eat some leaves, chill. Except, you've got a problem. A big one. Your, uh, dick is the same size as your entire body that measures up to 8 inches long. For perspective, that's like a human lugging around a third leg that's bigger than their actual leg. Bruh. Cool flex, right? Wrong. Because when it comes to love, your penis can sometimes get stuck. Like, we are going to hell stuck. And in the slug world, there's no calling for 911 or trying to wiggle it out. Nope, you go for the nuclear option. You chew it off. Yes, female banana slugs will chomps down on your pride and joy like it's a gummy worm. The worst news of your life? It's gone forever. The good news? You're still alive. And since you're hermaphrodite, and you can change your gender anytime, you can still lay eggs later. Nature always finds a way, just not always a pleasant one. Now imagine you're an Osidax worm. If you're a female, life's a breeze. But if you're a male, yeah, you're screwed. Literally. Your entire existence boils down to one job. Make sperm. No eating, no exploring, no hobbies. Just sperm making. You live inside the female, basically as a biological tenant. And when the time comes to do your duty, it's game over. Your body self-destructs, your guts explode, your insides collapse, and you die on the spot. But wait, it gets worse. Your tiny corpse doesn't even get a proper burial. It stays inside her, alongside dozens of other males who suffered the same fate. She's basically a walking graveyard of ex-boyfriends. Next up, sea hares. Picture this, you're chilling in the ocean, living your best life when suddenly, it's mating season, and things get… weird. Sea hares don't do the whole romantic pairing thing. Instead, they form massive mating chains, passing sperm like a biological hot potato. Here's the kicker. Every sea hare in the chain is both male and female at the same time. That's right, taking it in the back and giving it in the front. And to really set the mood, they release toxic purple ink into the water. It's not just any ink though. This stuff can kill predators and attract more sea hares to the party. Imagine a nightclub where the fog machine is poisonous but also makes the party even wilder. The chain can last for hours, leaving everyone exhausted and sometimes dead. All for a few fertilized eggs. Romantic, right? Now you're a deep sea worm. No time for romance. It's all about efficiency. When it's time to reproduce, you go all in. Literally. To make sure your sperm gets as far as possible, you launch it with such force that it tears through your body. Scientists estimate the sperm launch velocity could hit 30 to 70 miles per hour. That's right, you're basically a living cannon, firing off your genetic material in one glorious, self-destructive blast. The catch? It's your final act. The sheer force obliterates your insides, leaving you dead on the spot. Nature's got jokes, and they're dark. Finally. Let's talk leaf beetles. You're a female beetle, just minding your business. When a male comes along, everything seems normal, until mid-mating, when he injects you with sperm and poison. The toxin acts like a biological do not disturb sign, warning other males to back off. But it's not just a deterrent, it's a death sentence. Try to mate with someone else and the poison could kill you. Congrats, you're now a walking vessel for his offspring, trapped in a toxic relationship, literally. Love stinks. If you're feeling down at any stage of your life, come back and watch this video. Nature man, always keeping it weird and know that, animals sucks.